coming at you from Diamond B Farm. Well, we're on our final trip this morning to the Mennonites. Um, it's kind of their last day of the season. We're going to go see what um, they kind of have left, and we're going to take you along. Um, be looking for, on our website, a, if you're interested anyway, a map and directions of our favorite spots in Scotts and it's in Scottsville, Kentucky. So we'll do what we can to get you some directions so that maybe when you're on a pretty day in the summer and you're out doing doing a ride around, um, you might could have some directions and stop at some of our favorite places. So come on along. This is the entrance that we turn into on um, when we go to our community of Mennonites and this is called Perrytown Road and as you can see by the road which I mean you just kind of highly traveled with your buggies but the most wonderful thing is coming up here around this corner this is Hagbuyer's Amish Market they have the most wonderful bread cinnamon rolls um, they make sandwiches uh, you can't beat them ice cream um, frappuccinos, teas, coffee. It's just really a nice treat when you come up here. This is the Jam House on Perrytown Road and you know they have a tremendous amount of jams and jellies and sauces, just anything you can think of. And you know you just can't go wrong with that homemade stuff. Okay now then we're turning down to our really our first stop of the day which is Maslin's Feed Mill. This is, um, <laughs> little boys, they're so sweet. Um, this is the feed meal. I know I did that when I showed you the jam house and the other market, I mean, I just kind of wanted to show you what was down Perrytown Road. It wasn't our stops of the day, but Maslin's is, and this is where we come and we get all of our feed and our salt and minerals your gates just whatever you think you may need this is where we pull up to and i'll take you around the building take you around as they're loading our feed this is when they're grinding the fifth the feed comes out and they bag the feed As you can tell by the pond, we need some rain. And then in here is, of course, where they park their, park their cars. And this is where they grind the feed. And of course, that's where they store the wood and kind of keep them warm in the winter. Anyway, feed is ground. It goes down in the center and goes up through everything. And, and well, you know, anyway, sometimes I figure out, I think I know how it works and sometimes I don't. Kind of like the, the Sagram meal.
This is Maslin's, and this is where we come and get our feed. You know, if you do come up, or any Amish Mennonite community, um, please, but please remind yourself that you are on, you do have slow moving vehicles, and to be cautious when you go around them. But next up, we're on our way to our favorite produce stand. How about just a little bit on the way scenery? May even have to detour. Looks like we're gonna have to go a different way. <laughs> Going up the hill. Had to get out and walk, because it is kind of steep right in here. Rocky Ridge Crafts, uh, right at there is where they make, they have excellent like glider rockers, um, outdoor furniture, swings, well-made stuff. Kitchen tables, yeah, they have just about everything there. This is one of my favorite houses. I just think it's pretty. One of the horseshoers, Reuben Glick, in the area. That's where he should pull up right there and he does it right out of his barn right in there. Real nice man. This is Highway 85, and on Highway 85 is my favorite produce stand, Whispering Pines Produce. Today is their last day of the season to be open, and let's go show you around what's on the inside. This is what they have today. The last of the last. Probably get me some potatoes. This is what it looks like on the inside. We did get permission, so um, just not to get them, which is fine in my book. It's sad because we like to come here. They're good people, nice to talk to, good conversations all summer long. Okay, now then we are going to stop here at Lester Brewbaker's. This is the harness shop. So this is where um, Kevin comes and gets all of his harness repaired or have they make new um, harness parts. Um, I'm not going to go in because they are kind of strict. So, you know, I want to be courteous. Um, yeah, their clothes washer is going. Well, it's not going. Well, it's, you know, it's fixing. fixing to. But, just thought I'd let you see a little bit of this.
this is where we come for all of our leather needs. He does excellent leather work. Jonas. Here is our Mennonite haul of the day. Some red potatoes, some white onions, some sweet potatoes, a couple of tomatoes, and feed. Hope you enjoy coming along with us on our Saturday Mennonite trip. Uh, we have more to show y'all, so y'all stay tuned. And if you don't mind, go like our channel. Go like our other social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. And be looking for different things in our farm store. Um, we'll even include maps of maps and instructions if you are in the Scottsville, Kentucky area and you do want to um, go visit some of the places we do. We'll, we'll put some directions on there for you. Hey, y'all have a good day. Y'all have a better tomorrow. And we'll see you next time.